Hi, I have Debbie Weber here with Keller Williams Real Estate. Uh, Debbie, thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so um, I just kind of wanted to get into things with you mm -hmm. and, and kind of learn a little bit more about your business and, and uh, what you do and, and how you do it. Okay. Um, so tell me this, how long have you been in the real estate business? I've been in real estate for going on 13 years. 13 years. And how yes. did you, how did you get involved in real estate? When did... So it's actually funny. I, the job I had when I graduated from college in 2005, I became a facility manager with uh, Cassidy Turley, Collier, Turley, Martin Tucker, all of those, uh, it was a commercial real estate firm. Okay. I uh, really wanted to do a lot uh, in real estate, but uh, couldn't do it because of the scheduling. I had kids. I was a full-time mom. Uh -huh. uh, had four children at the time, so I never got to take the real estate classes in college. Gotcha. Uh, fast forward um, uh, fast forward a little bit and um, met a gentleman that um, had his own uh, boutique uh, brokerage. We okay. hit it off. Um mm -hmm. And actually, I wanted to be his assistant, but he really wasn't ready for me at the time. Uh -huh. And then, uh, lucky or unluckily, whichever one you want to think about it, I got uh, fired from my job. Oh. <laughs> Which was a good, it was the best thing that could have happened to me because a couple weeks later, he'd been looking for me because an opportunity presented himself itself for me to become his assistant. Okay. So therefore, uh, I had a definitely a different introduction into real estate than most, but yeah. it was a very great thing for me. I was able to spend a little bit more time with my children, get to know him a little bit more and what real estate meant. And then I went full feet full first and uh, haven't looked back since. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I know you're a great agent and you deal a lot with listings and you deal a lot with buyers. Um, what would you say, where, where would your ideal listing be? Ooh, my ideal listing. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I know this might not be what a lot of agents may say, because I know a lot of people love to go with the the large five hundred, six hundred thousand dollar listings. But I'll be honest, I grew up in Florissant. Okay. Uh, I'm a blackjack gal. Went to Hazelwood Central. Go Hawks. Nice. And um, what I I love doing business in North County. Do you? I I truly believe that. Real estate, uh, the the market when it crashed in two thousand eight, North County was one of the hardest places hit. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of predatory lending, that type of thing, and yeah. to watch how our area kind of became decimated a little bit. Uh -huh. uh, a lot of uh, rentals, a lot of companies coming in, taking them as rentals. So to see blackjack really going, I'm not just blackjack, but. Florissant, Hazelwood, seeing the values go back up, seeing really great families coming in and purchasing homes is uh, it, it's a thing for me. I love I love to do it. Helping people that are that I used to went to, uh, go to high school with their families, their parents. Yeah. You know, teaching people about, um, you know, generational wealth, just even becoming a first time home buyer in this area. Right. Love it. So my sweet spot, I love three, 300 and under. And I love to see that. North County is finally starting to get those values again. My favorite term, generational wealth. That's awesome. <laughs> Love it. It's not yeah. something that uh, I know I was taught, but I'm right. definitely helping to teach my family and others about yeah, it. Yeah, and it's so important. You know, yes. uh, it, it changes people's lives, right? Yes, it does. Um, so <clears throat> do you have any listings right now that you'd want to share about? So currently I do have, um, I have a lot of, listings that are like within two to three months time and about okay. three of them are in Florissant itself but I have one specific one that is in a Ferguson it's actually a uh, one and a half story two bedroom condo okay two car garage um, carpets a little dated but we've done a, a few updates in the property but it's only listed at 150 thousand oh has a main floor bedroom uh, like master bedroom main okay. floor um, and then there's a second bedroom with a private bathroom upstairs as well. It would be a great property for a first time home buyer, um, maybe even someone that's looking to downsize because it does have the main floor bedroom. Uh -huh. um, even some, a couple of updates too. You could even possibly bring um, the washer and dryer that's down in the basement upstairs. Okay. Very easy, kind of how it's set up. Basement's completely ready for your man, woman, man or woman cave, however you do it. but. Great opportunity to build some equity in a property. Mm -hmm. 
and you know inventory is a little little short nowadays Sound so awesome. it would be a, probably a good uh, opportunity for someone that's looking to get into their first home to build some equity into that property yeah. and then you know have it for something for later awesome awesome great rental too you could live in it and then rent it you know after a little while as well and then there move you into go. your next home there you go um so I know you're big into the Women's Council here in St. Louis. Yes. Can you uh, can you expound a little bit about sure. the Women's Council? How much do you know about Women's Council? Barely. Barely anything. anything. So um, Women's Council dates back to even as early as 1929. Okay. A group of women in California um, noticed that their local boards were not giving them the opportunity, even though women could do real estate, the local boards weren't really that wonderful to work with and didn't really want to have women coming in. Okay. So a group of women um, in California made a, a journey to the National Association of uh, Realtors uh, in one of their conferences and really petitioned um, them to have more women to have more voices, you know, and to get more involved. Okay. I believe by 1938, the Women's Council of Realtors was established. And so every um, board could have a Women's Council of Representatives. Um, what we talk, what our main uh, purpose with Women's Council is we're leaders made here. Uh, it's really about empowering women in business and in the communities that they serve. So if you think of it back then when women were still fighting and minorities as well, because there's also some um, other like the National Association of Real Estate Brokers, which is um, they call it NAREP, but it's for black um, agents. OK. They also had a time getting into some of the local boards. So they would start their own organizations within the National Association of Realtors so they can get the experience get the education and have a group of just agents to network with uh, to help them run their business. Oh, wow. So with all that being said, uh -huh. uh, I am the 2024 president-elect of the St. Louis. Thank you. Of the St. Louis chapter. I will be president next year. Awesome. Um, and it's just, it's a great opportunity. Uh, I really wanted to become more involved with, with this uh, back when I first became an agent, but uh -huh. it is some time, um, expectancy and having four children single mom at the time there just wasn't time for me to do that so sure. obviously now that my youngest one is 18 there is some time for that and uh i'm just looking forward to putting my own spin on uh the women's council being the first black um president for our chapter are you yes awesome that's that's terrific I'm I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. It's also really interesting until I really became more a part of it how sometimes uh we can become a in our bubble like our our brokerages we all are cooperating real sure. estate agents but we do kind of get in a bubble within our uh our different brokerages. Yeah. Keller Williams as uh, as you said earlier, it's a very large one of the top ones here in St. Louis. Um but I really am learning so much more about our industry as a whole, what's even going on with l bigger things like NAR, uh -huh. uh, with uh, some of the lawsuits that are going on, right. um, and even learning more about what uh, RPAC, which is a political fund that the real estate agents and what we do to, to help raise money for political agendas, but it's not, it's a purple party. It's not blue or red. Okay. It's about what is the best for um, real estate agents and the communities that we serve. Gotcha. So I wouldn't know anything about any of that without being a part of Women's Council. That's awesome. Well, I appreciate your good and hard work. Thank you. Um, I look forward to uh, seeing everything that comes from that. And uh, again, thanks for joining me today. Thank you. It was you. great to see you. You too. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Deb.